What's going on guys? I am super excited. I have another lead to another sports card collection. This one is 20,000 cards and it came with two pictures in the listing, but I've been talking back and forth with the owner of the listing trying to get a little bit more details on it and it looks like we're going to be able to close a deal. Uh, we're just working out a couple details, but this was the first photo. Uh, this photo you can see here has 1970s cards. It looks like that most of the cards in this photo are going to be vintage cards. So that's a good sign of things to come in this collection. And then this photo is the one that sold me. You can see here a 1992 pack, but in the back, as you can see there, there's a Hank Aaron. Right over here, there's a Frank Robinson. Behind there, there's a Nolan Ryan. Over here, there's a Thurman Munson. There's an Eddie Murray right up there. So I don't know if those cards were placed there strategically or not you know sometimes people are not good with taking photos they don't know how many photos to put they don't know what to put in the photos to describe the listing so i don't know if that was strategically put there or that was accidental but that is a good sign of things to come when it comes to this collection Twenty thousand cards so i'm willing to take my chance on it uh just by seeing these two pictures and speaking to the owner so we're just we're super close to closing out the deal it's about three hours away from where i live uh, once the deal is closed, I will be heading out to go pick up this collection. So I'm super excited about it and I'm happy to take you guys along on the journey. All right, guys, the deal is officially done. 20,000 card collection deal has been completed. We are officially on our way to go pick it up. It is approximately three hours away from where I live. I got a little bit of a backstory behind this collection. It was not the owner's collection. The person that currently, currently owns it is not the original owner. It was his father's collection and his father owned a storage unit and his father has just passed away a couple of months ago. And they were going through his stuff obviously in his home and he had a storage unit. These cards were stored away in the storage unit. The owner does not know how long they've been in there. They could have been in there for years. Um, his father was in his 90s. So this collection has extreme potential. I love collections that have stories that go along with them. So guys, I'm excited. Three hour drive ahead of us. Let's go get it. So guys, we decided that we are not gonna make the three hour drive home, so we decided we are gonna be staying in a hotel tonight. So we are here at our hotel, I'm gonna spend the night here. This way we don't have to drive six hours in a day since this time we brought the entire family. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit to show you guys what I found once we get home. Oh, look at the bunny. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back here at the house, and right here we have the 20,000 card collection. It came in these four, four, five boxes. This one, this one. There's another one right under here, and another one right under here. Uh, what I thought was pretty interesting were some things that I couldn't see in the listing photos. Um, right here we have these old Cracker Jack uh prizes i guess you would get inside the cracker jack boxes uh right here is 1915 uh replica cards there's a set of 24 of them those are two uh sealed there and then right here as you can see there's a bunch of sealed stuff uh these are the leaf candy city team uh comes with all hall of fame players and Reads right here, Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, uh, Ted Williams, Hank Aaron, Alkaline, Will McCovey. So yeah, there's a bunch of these sealed. So I'm sure that if you open up all these, there's probably a complete set in there. A uh, bunch of these cool little odds and ends, little miniature cards, circle cards. Um, these right here, these look like they were cut out. And then we have this right here, which we did see in the listing. Here's the 1992 Tops pack. But uh, yeah, we're going to start digging through this and uh, I'll let you know what I find. 
All right, guys, here we go. You guys are going to be absolutely blown away at what we have found in this collection. It is absolutely ridiculous. So let's get into it. And I have barely scratched the surface of it so far. Just went through that clear, clear box that I showed you guys. So right here on top, we have a Joe Namath, New York Jets, five-yard loss. I guess this was part of a game. Underneath there, we have a Jim Rice All-Star. We had a Dave Winfield All-Star. Gaylord Perry. Burt Blylevin. Greg Nettles. Joe Necro. Cecil Cooper. Mike Smith All-Star. There's Lou Pinella. Bobby Bonds, and so far in that uh, clear case that I just went through, so far it has been mostly vintage baseball, as I expected from the videos, uh, from the photos. There's Bobby Bonds, Rod Carew All-Star, Carlton Fisk, there's a Lou Brock and Yastrzemski, there's a Joe and Phil Negro. George Brett Record Breaker, Burt Blylevin, Pete Rose All-Star, Reggie Jackson All-Star, Lou Pinella, Lee May, Burt Blylevin, Thurman Munson, Carlton Fisk, Ricky Henderson, Here's a really cool Henderson. This one is out of the top 50th anniversary and it is numbered to 2001. Very nice. 1986 All-Star Roger Clemens. There's a Tony Gwynn. Greg Nettles. George Brett. A rookie Dale Murphy. Underneath there, we have a rookie Jim Rice, Tom Seaver, victory leader. There's a Ozzie Smith. There's a Mr. Willie Mays. There's another Ozzie. Pete Rose. It's another Pete. Robin Yount. Gary Carter, Pete Rose, Carl Yastrzemski, Rod Carew All-Star, Reggie Jackson All-Star. Right here we have a Joe Morgan All-Star, Tom Seaver, a 2002 Topps All-Star rookie Albert Pujols which I was surprised to find in there, mixed in to all these vintage. Then we also have a 2002 Diamond Kings. Pujols. There's a Jeter. We have a 1971 Strikeout Leaders Tom Seaver, Fergie Jenkins. Then we have a Nolan Ryan, 74 Highlights. Willie McCovey, Dusty Baker, Phil Necro. Right here we have a Steve Carlton All-Star, another Lou Pinella, Rich Gossage, Joe Morgan. We have a Rod Carew and a Dave Parker, Greg Nettles. We have a Dave Winfield and Don Baylor, Mike Schmidt All-Star, Cecil Cooper, Eddie Murray, Carl Yastrzemski, we have a Sparky Lyle Record Breaker, Andre Dawson, here's a Johnny Bench, Thurman Munson, that's one of the ones that we could see in the background in the pictures. There's a Steve Carlton and Jim Palmer. 
Bill Buckner, Tom Seaver, another Joe Morgan, Greg Nettles, Ken Griffey Sr., Rod Carew All-Star, and the second one of those has a nice old Bobby Bonds. Bobby Brown, some future all star future stars for the Yankees. We have a Griffey Sr. All right, getting into the juice here. Uh, right here we have a Jim Palmer, Sparky Lyle, Lee May, Paul Monitor, Molitor, Dave Concepcion, Alan Trammell. We have the all-time hit leader, Ty Cobb. All right, here we go. Here is a Topps All-Star rookie, Rod Carew. Underneath there was one of the cards that we could see in the background in one of the photos. There is a Frank Robinson. Very nice. Right here's another one that we could kind of peek in the background. There's the Hank Aaron. There is a Willie Mays. Now this is going to get pretty exciting here. Underneath there we have a Roberto Clemente. And last but definitely not least, we have a Mr. Ricky Henderson rookie now that is a good first video for this collection absolutely ridiculous but there is more so in this collection came a couple of sealed packs and right here i have two sealed 1983 tops packs which could possibly have a tony gwynn wade boggs or a Ryan Sandberg rookie card. So I'm going to open them up right here. Live on video. To see if. One if they're in there. And two if they are in good condition. Alright here we go. There's the gum if anybody would like it. Okay this card is usually not in the best of shape. Because it's the one that's by the gum. There's Greg Nettles, George Hendrick, Ken, Craig, Steve, oh, there's a Reggie Jackson, Dan Ford, Steve Henderson, got the little game card, Gene Garber, another Jackson, Jerry, Vita Blue, Dave Stewart, Pete Rose. All right, so that's the first pack of 83. Here is the second pack. Anybody wants that piece of gum there? All right, here we go. We got Jim, Fred Lynn, Keith Hernandez, Gary, Rich, <clears throat> Ray, Ken, Tim. We got the little game card. Bobby Cox, Larry, Greg, Rich Gossage. Doug, Alfredo, and Dan. All right, so no huge rookies in those two packs. A couple of Pete Rose cards, which were pretty cool. But overall, I would say this first update of this collection has been a success. Nice Rich, uh, Ricky Henderson. Crazy to see Willie Mays and Roberto Clemente. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Because there will be several updates to this collection. Make sure you smash the like button because it really helps 
uh, new people see these videos and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about this first video of this collection. I'm excited about it. Got a ton more to go through. But uh, thank you guys for watching again and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.